All right, what is up, you guys? And of course, always welcome back to another Wife of Bell. This time, going up against Sam, and um, I really hope I get to showcase the luxury this time at least. But we're doing like the legendaries again. Ah, why are we doing this? Now, there is one positive part about this, and that is that uh, I can easily get up my webs again. I don't see a spinner besides potentially Charizard being able to. Uh, that's a thing though, right? Um, Charizard could be very threatening, as uh, it's clearly flying. And the same thing with Jardos, like, those two does really well. I feel like my Yurushifu is gonna be rather, rather worthless when I say this battle, because there are a lot of things that force his out. So, actually, I think Luxray is really good, and I feel my um, Necrozma is really good. I don't believe my. Um, I was gonna say, what, what's it called? The Palo Sand is all that bad as long as Leafion is dealt with. But, um, yeah, webs, no matter what. Um, I don't think there is any way of going about that, but I have no idea. Like what my Yurushifus should do. <sighs> Why are people bringing legendaries? I feel like first battle was fine. Second one now I feel hmm, right. That's that's quite annoying. Stop, please. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what he does with his Mewtwo. What do you leads off with anyway? Leafeon. Right, that's actually kinda good for us. He can't do anything with his Leafeon besides potentially Sunny Day and Weather Ball. So we should easily get our webs up, which is the most important part of your and keep our sash intact. And I didn't see anything in this team that could set up something like Stealth Rocks, so I could save it for another rainy day, depending on what I decide to switch into. And I feel Charizard is um, a one-man army I won't touch. Um, I have Psyche for it, basically, and that's not going to help. Um, now I have two options, the way I see it. Um, like I said, your Shifu is kind of worthless this game, so it's also going to be slower. So I want to hope it goes Flare Blitz and just kind of reduces his damage a little bit. Because I can't do anything about this guy. Flamethrower. Okay, cool. We can take those. Don't get burned. I'm going to follow that with a Searching Strike, I believe. I could U-turn, but I feel it's kind of risky. I am actually faster. Which is good, because that means that that Charizard is absolutely out. Oh my god. The damage. <laughs> right, one of his biggest threats is gone. Now I have two big threats to deal with. One of them is um, Absolute Gyarados, which I believe um, comes in here for free. And I have Leafeon, which I actually don't... I don't fear it. I should, but I don't. Because I can just switch in Meltdown, and... Uh, his only, like, real attack there should be... Um, like, knockoff. Maybe um, I feel Leaf Blade is the safest kind of play. And I think Leafeon should do alright. Let's see, Leaf Blade, awesome. No problem. That is an absolute crit. That is an absolute crit, and I hate to see it. Um, I still flare this though, like if Jaros comes in, it's still gonna hurt him a whole lot, and the recall alone might actually kill me. Let's see, he does withdraw. Goes to Jaros. I wanna see the damage here. I really wanna see the damage. It's Intimidates, it's not Moxie. Um, still though, flare blitz, come on. Do something, right? That is alright. That is alright damage. So, sack play or save him for rainy day? I like rainy days. He can't do anything to that guy. None of them really can. He can't recover though, which is good. Um. And I want to save you because of the obvious thing. Yet again, your Shifu isn't really doing anything for me. We'll see if I can get some like high damage crits, basically. But I am sacking your Shifu with Flareon easy. Let's see. We see Waterfall. That's going to be resisted, so that's kind of nice. 
and we do have speed so um, as you say kind of surprised they didn't go for something like uh, like power whip or dynamax for the max airstream and whatnot but the way i see it i should be able to get some damage in there and uh, if you dynamax here we you just in because of Slayer again i guess or i mean if leafy on um this time though i don't have a switch into leafy on besides risking my sash which i don't want to do I think this does all right, actually. I'm kind of half impressed with this damage. Jesus. Can we do another one of those? I, I feel we should. I feel we should. I find it's very impressive, actually. Your sheaf is really pulling some weight. Almost actually deals with Leafeon, which is an incredible force to be dealing with. Has Giga Drain of all the things, and that's gonna actually recover quite a lot for him. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate actually. However, I do have an autonomized situation here, don't I? I might be playing this card a bit too early. But basically, I think Autonomize is the way to go. Um, he could have knockoff, and that should do a whole lot of damage because it has 110 attack, which is a, you know, a plethora of HP, I was gonna say. But yeah, he just stay in at least. I think heat, Heatway will knock him out easy. Uh, we see what move will he go for, Leap Blade? Do take that all right. It's not impressive, but do take it. Heatquake should absolutely knock him out, and uh, we'll see if he decides to follow up on. I think Mewtwo kind of um, looks to be our all right switch in, and if so, we're going to go for a Meteor Beam just to get that attack boost. Um, reason I go for Tornomize is to avoid Gyarados coming in, or I want to bait it in, but we'll see what I can do. See, Jaro's good. 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 <laughs> feel like Palpatine. <laughs> Counselor Palpatine. Oh, good. Oh, no Dynamax. Don't need that. Because I think Meteor Beam is going to absolutely destroy him if I don't miss. He's 90% after all. Get into that space power and then do it. Do it. Do it. Yes! I think Photon Geisha could possibly have killed him too, but not having to risk that is way better. <laughs> is way better. <laughs> Alright, right, I'm feeling it. I don't have the showcase I want, but I'm feeling it. Right, brings in Sashion. You are Steel and Fairy. So you're weak to heat wave. At least. So you won't appreciate this. But I think you'd absolutely survive it. Or not. Necrozma, calm down. <laughs> Alright. 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 I like this. I think we destroy Sarawar too. Oh look, it's the white one. Oh, that guy looks so great like that that's a Pokemon that is an absolute Pokemon right Photon Geisha I believe it knocks it out and a plus one special attack is plenty yeah yeah so Necrozma is pulling some really heavy weights here which I expected it to but um, definitely not like this so his last Pokemon Mewtwo and uh, I'm considering here, I should sack play. Because there is no way. Should I try to get another meter beam off? 
Oh, coward. <laughs> All right, that was a win at least, but uh, not the showcase I wanted, but at the same time, I had so few options, and that Leafion actually, that Leafion did things to me. That was, um, yeah, that was scary. So anyway, Sam, thank you for the game. Um, really, really hope to not see legendaries that often, because it's been a lot of battlers who wanted to send in their legendaries, and it's gotten rough fast, so I kind of hope to avoid it as much as I can. But with that said, as all guys, thank you for watching, have a great day, and take care.